Mr. President, it is my belief that Your Excellency sees, hears, and feels the tension in our dear country which can be traced to some cry over injustice, inequality from the southeastern part of our great country, Nigeria, as a stakeholder and patriotic citizens of this country. I want to state without equivocation that the entire security challenge is prevailing this country from the southeast will disappear within the tickle of an eye if and only if all sections of this great country can come together to pave way for the emergence of a Nigerian president of Igbo extraction in the year 2023. When my father narrated the story of Biafra War of 1967 to 1970, to me, I realized that despite the millions of lives that were lost, many properties of the state were also destroyed. Without any doubt, the wound inflicted on Nigeria through the Biafra War will continue to linger in the minds of well meaning Nigerians. The question now is, how long are we going to hold the sins of Biafra War against the people of the Southeast? For the sake of peace, I want to plead that Nigeria should forgive and forget the 1967 to 1970 Biafra debacle. Mr. President, as we all know, the Igbos are our brothers and sisters who possess great talent in the area of small and big businesses within and across the borders of Nigeria. Based on their enterprising nature, they, they contribute heavily to the economic development of Nigeria through payment of food taxes into the covers of all levels of government in our dear country. Hence, they should also be given what is due to them in Nigeria. Sir, everybody knows that you are a true Muslim who believes in equity and justice, and it is clearly stated in the two holy, holy books, Quran and Bible, in the light of this, I want to appeal that Your Excellency should use a dialogue rather than clamping down on secessionist agitators in the country, especially in the Southeast, which now looks like a war zone. It is fact that the leader of indigenous people Biafra, Ipo Nabdikanu, has been rearrested to face the charges against him. But dialogue with all sections of the country we have to nip in the bud. The various security challenges which has sprung up in the southeast and other sections of the country, if dialogue is adopted, it will definitely prevent more of Namdikan from springing up in the southeast and the country in general. I'm also pleased to remind you, sir, that the peace we enjoy today in the Niger Delta region is due to dialogue, not military invasion. Finally, sir, I want Mr. President to know that there are some competent and trusted Igbos in your cabinet and party who can be entrusted with the position of President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria come 2023. If Your Excellency can be magnificent to support and enthrone a Nigerian President of Igbo Extraction in the year 2023, it will not only write Your Excellency name in gold, but will also enable the South Eastern to have a sense of belonging in Nigeria. 